Hi, I'm Gemma. I'm a documentary and lifestyle photographer based in Air Scotland. Um, I'm here with my son Owen, who's seven. Um, we're here today at Croy Shore shooting using Lens Baby. Um, we normally come up here as a family, so there's three other brothers. Um, and it's a really nice, quiet place to have some fun family time and get some nice pictures, yeah. <laughs> so I'll just show you a bit about what I use and what's in my kit bag um, and let you see the kind of lens baby stuff that I like. Um, okay, so we'll start with my bag, it's low pro um, and it's got a couple of different um, sections that you can put extra stuff in, memory cards or laptop, whatever. Um, in here. So I've got the the Hold Fast Money Maker which holds both um, camera bodies. It's pretty good and actually takes a lot of the weight and makes it a lot simpler to shoot with two camera bodies. Um, I wouldn't do without that. I think I'd be stuck. Um, okay so we'll start with the my main camera body which is my Canon 5D Mark IV. Um, I love this because it's so such a good size and it fits nice and it's chunky and it just feels like sturdy. Do you know it's a good a good body? Um, this is the lens baby. So this here, there's two parts to this. There is a, a lens baby optic which is the Edge 80, that's, or this is the Edge 35 that's in this one. Um, and these optics actually come in and out of the second part. So these are removable, and these are the parts that you would change and buy other sizes and different styles of optic um, that will create different um, final images for you. This part here is the Composer Pro 2. Um, it's a newer version. Uh, I think they changed the 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 rings on these to be a bit more um, wear. Like they they, they kind of take a lot more wear. I think this part is also attached into your camera body. So this is the this is the the kind of main part that you would have to have to be able to use these optics. Um, but together these are awesome. This has got so much versatility. Um, the fact that this can all move and this is where you would use and change this around so that your slice of focus or your bokeh, whatever optic you have in, is going to change and move around using this, this part here. And then when you go on to using the, the focus will move using this, but the amount of focus or the amount of blur will be changed depending on what f-stop you're at on here. Um, the edge starts at 3.5 and up to f22. Um, again if I'm shooting with any of these I tend to always be um, at the lowest um, f-stop I can be at because I want a lot of blur. I want, it to, I want you to be able to see that it's not an accidental image that actually what I'm shooting is the, the slice that I have caught is what I want to be in focus and it's where the story of the image that I've taken is happening. Um, so yeah, that's that one. I've got my other lens babies in here which this is the Edge 80. This is my favourite. This is my all time favourite optic and lens baby product. This one starts at 2.8 um, and actually you can do more um, like almost macro kind of stuff with this one. It, you can get in a lot closer and get kind of more um, detailed stuff, detailed shots of this one. Um, this is gorgeous, especially shooting things like like Owen, um, you know, on the beach or down at the water and I can catch things like his... Um, his shadow or you know what he's doing 
but there is a lot of scope for what it looks, the scale of what he looks like in this, with this optic on the camera is just unbelievable. Um, so more often than not, if I'm shooting lens baby, that's the, that's the optic that I'm going to be using. This one is the Sweet 35, which is the first ever lens baby that I bought um, because I was slightly obsessed with bokeh. So this is... The slice of focus on the edge, basically the, the edge uses a focus that goes from one side to the other. You have blur at either side and straight down the middle you have a slice of focus that takes you straight through to see what you are shooting. This is different. This has a sort of, maybe like a kind of, a, a ring around your focus but the blur that comes out the side of that is really actually beautiful. Um, and it's a super creative lens, a super creative optic um, that's really nice for something just a bit different and it works really, really well and for me anyway, my, my perfect and best place to shoot this is a golden hour with either water or like the sun coming in behind trees because the bokeh comes into sort of little teardrop shapes which are all around the person or the the subject that you're shooting which actually looks really really nice so my other camera body that i have got is a sony a7r3 um this is a mirrorless body uh, which is gorgeous it actually shoots really really nice it's so compact and so small um that you don't feel like it's as intrusive as something like the canon um Again, it's the same. I can use my lenses and my lens babies on here because there's a converter um, that goes on here that allows me to use my EF lenses on this Sony uh, body. So this is such a lovely camera to use. Um, and the colouring and the lighting on this, once you take the pictures, are just really, really nice. I've also got this which I use mainly, um, I can't use this in the Sony, I just use this in the Canon, but it's just basically a magnifier that goes on the back of your um, your camera body. It hooks on, it clips on, it's a mag magnetic, hooks on and it makes shooting with Lens Baby on this body a lot simpler because I can see exactly where the focus is going and what, if I've got, the right part of the subject that I want in focus properly because it zooms in so far. So one of the last kind of things that are in my kit are these Lens Baby Omni filters. They are just prisms, um, all different kinds of um, shapes and stuff and they create different creative images in your shot um, using the sun. Okay, so that's basically all of my kit. Um, everything in here all my lens babies, um, from the Omnis to all of my optics, were all bought through Wex um, online. Um, and yeah, basically that's that. My kit and we'll go and have some fun on the beach with Owen and shoot some lens baby stuff. <laughs> hey, so Owen and I are at Croy Beach this morning. Um, it's quite a nice day, not too bright. Um, I don't really like to shoot in full sun. Um, so tend to have, I think it's quite good, the fact that we stay in Scotland and that we've got quite a lot of cloud cover most days. Um, and it actually works in my favour. Uh, and we're just gonna play down at the beach for a bit. Yeah. What? I know. I'm shooting with the Edge 80, which is my all time favourite lens baby optic. Um, I think the blur and the scale that you can get with it's awesome, but obviously you have to be pretty far away, um, which is not ideal when I have like the babies with me. Um, but one's, one's pretty good. It just kind of doing his own thing, so it works with him. 
own just kind of is really good. He just tends to move about and do his own thing and he's quite um, used to being photographed. More so than I would see my other kids. I like to take pictures of all my kids um, doing doing things naturally. I don't really, although with Owen on days like today, um, or we tend to go out a lot at sunset um, together. And those are the days that I would maybe direct him a little bit more than normal. Um, just because it's kind of the point in why we're out at that time. He's very, very good at just doing his own thing. Which I think works really nice. Well, then's be because it looks a lot more natural. I think as well, putting, I quite like the fact that um, with the edge, with the um, composer, you can level it all out and have a pretty much all focused shot as well so the blur doesn't have to always be there. You can choose whether or not to have blur and how much you have. We'll put it back down to 2.8 which then brightens the exposure again so you need to check. Anytime I change it you just have to check that you're not getting anything blown. Um, obviously the sky is blown here but I'm not too bothered about that just now. And it's just finding where you want your focus to fall as well, which I think is really cool with these. You don't necessarily have to be specific when you move, when you move the composer and you, you twist the ring, you then, your, expo your um, slice of focus moves uh, all over the place. So you can have certain things in focus at different times from the same, from shooting at the exact same angle, you can actually get a few different looking images. Depends on where you put your focus and where you want it to fall. If you're not too sure where the focus is going to fall, if you move it quite quickly, it's really easy to see that it is moving. But when you have a specific focus point, you have to be a bit more specific and move very slowly as to where you want it to fall. Depending on where you move the optic, which is inside the Composer Pro, you'll change, your slice of focus will move. So the optic actually, the Composer moves up and down and all around, left, right, up, down, in corners as well. So your focus can go all over. I've got the suite as well, which is actually really nice. It has more of a like bokeh effect around what you're shooting um, but I fell in love with the edge so it's what I use 98% of the time to get it out you twist and it pops out and you tighten it and then the same again so it goes in there's dots white dots and a white spot and a clear dot No, you match them up in and just make sure it's in <laughs> secure so it doesn't fall out where we are is like a really nice part of air so we can see Killeen Castle um, in the background which you couldn't get with the edge with the 80 which unless I positioned it differently but you can see um, with a 35 obviously it's the same as a normal lens and you can see a lot more in your scene I like shooting at like at Owen's level a lot of the time. I tend not to ever really shoot down on him as much because I feel like I like to get their perspective and their view. So composition is maybe something that I think about a little bit, but I would take storytelling over getting a like technically perfect image um, and shooting with four boys most of the time. Client work is a bit different I guess. 
but shooting with children is really difficult because they don't tend to want to do anything at all especially my own kids do not want to do anything that I actually ask them to do so compositionally I will try and I'll attempt to get something maybe um, sitting on I tend to shoot the ruler thirds a lot um, and maybe just on the ruler thirds are just a little off um, but technically I shoot for the story and not for the technicalities. The aim of what I do, whether it's with clients or with um, my own kids, is to tell a story in the image and to have something there that I can look back on in a few years and have a feeling of something from it. I want my images to portray a connection or some sort of um, some sort of a uh, some sort of emotion that you see and that you get when you look at it and maybe even the longer you look at it the more you find the details you find details that are there that are small details but they make more of the image and they bring more depth into what I'm shooting it for. Is that a car coming? Yeah. Do you know what? I forget that the edge is so good for detail shots for macro stuff and I never ever do it. Details are one of my favourite things to capture about the kids. Things that will change like between now and like next month or just things that they like to do as well. So that's us done for the day. If you want to see a bit more of my work, my Instagram is their Wild Little Lives and my website is The Love and Lens Photography. I hope you've enjoyed what we've been getting up to today.